Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Back of Day Crochet. So today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this poncho here. So I call this the Granny Connection Poncho. So let's look it over real quick. As you can see, it does have some granny stitches. Um, and then at the point of the poncho, it slides over to post stitches. And then when you work back around, it's opposite. Right here are the post stitches. And then at the point, it slides over to the grannies. So they're kind of crisscrossed, as you can see. But it's it's not hard to do. Now this poncho is rather large. If you see me there in the photos, I am five foot three. So you can make yours as big as you want. Um, the size that I made measures from one point here to the other point there is about 40 inches. And then from the crease the bottom point of the neck all the way down to the bottom point of the poncho was about 36 inches but remember you do yours as big or as small as long or as short as you like um that's how you increase the size of a poncho um you just keep making it as big as you'd like um for that so what do you say you want to go ahead and get started on it i love it i think it turned out very very beautiful all right let's do it all right as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my crochet tutorials or that any of my yarn content and if you like this video or if you like this poncho i'd always appreciate a thumbs up so for this particular poncho i used yarn art flowers in merino um i think i purchased this from the yarn company called Bellrita. I'll put that in the description box, but you can also find people selling it on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. So this is, they classify this as a number three weight. I do not. This is a four weight yarn. So make sure you don't have to use this yarn, but make sure you use a four weight. This is not a three. A lot of times the, the yarn art brand misclassifies their yarn. So definitely a four weight. Any four weight yarn will work. This one is 25 wool, 75 acrylic. There's 590 meters per cake and 645 yards per ball. I use two whole cakes. So two whole ones. So 1300 yards of a four weight yarn is what you're gonna need. I, I have just a, you know, just a bit left here. But yes, that was two whole. Um, and people are going to ask if it was color controlled. There were a certain point, circle, couple spots at the end that I did color control. Um, I do have a video on color controlling. Um, I'll link that below in the description box. Otherwise, um, like I color controlled the collar I, that I wanted to put around the collar. And the collar that I wanted to put around the bottom. Other than that, the, I just went with the center of the cake. And then the center of the next cake. So it just how the colors flowed is how it went. So yes, about 1,300 yards of a medium weight number four to make it my size. Of course, you can make it shorter and you can make it longer, but you'll need more yarn if you choose to make it bigger. And then for this particular project, I'm using an I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. All right, so I'm going to show you with a different color yarn because that black or that navy blue is going to be really, really hard to see on camera. Um, details about the yarn that I'm using right now will be in the description box. It's just Joanne's Big Twist. Um, so you want to start out, we're starting with the neck and we're going to work down. Um, you want to start out with a chain of 80. I highly, highly rec recommend, I mean super recommend do not change the count of the chain a lot of people um want to change the count of the chain and i'll show you why so you get your chain of 80 and what we're going to do is follow it down without without uh twisting your chain we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here to form a ring and this will be the neck hole a lot of people want to change the count of the chain, beginning chain, because they think that it's too small or that it won't fit over their head. Do not change it. The weight of the poncho stretches the chain out. So as your poncho gets bigger, the neck hole stretches. So please, please do not change, do not change it. Um, plus it'll throw off the stitch count. Okay. You got your chain of 80. I promise it'll all work out. Even if you feel like it's not going to, it will. See, I got small hands. 
and my hands just kind of barely fit in it but it, it works all right so you got your chain of 80 you slip stitch into your first chain to form a ring now we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that which that chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet and then we're going to work around and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get back around to my starting point. So row one is one single on every stitch all the way around your big ring. Just like that. And I'll meet back up with you when we get right here. All right, I come to the end of round one and you should have a total of 80 stitches because that's what we started out with. So you have your chain of 80 here. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet to end that round. And now we're gonna start round two. Now round two through um, nine are the repeat rounds. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's an eight row repeat, but it's a very, very easy repeat. All right, so we're gonna work the uh, first point. So this is a two point poncho. We're gonna start by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. And we're gonna work back into this very first stitch here. And we're gonna work three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. So that is only actually half of the point. We're going to do the other half when we make it back around to the beginning. That way there's no, not a bunch of slip stitching or seams or anything. So we're going to go ahead and start the repeat of row two. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three skip 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 and then the next one we're going to put three double crochets so there's one all in the same stitch two three again we're going to chain one and we're going to skip three stitches one two three and then the next one we work three double crochets one, two, three. Chain one, again, skip three, skip, 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 three doubles into the next. Now we're gonna do this until we have nine sets of three double crochets. And that does not count this one here. So we have three. We're going to continue until we have nine. Chain one, skip three. One, two, three. Three doubles into the next. Chain one. Skip three, three doubles into the next. Just remember that you chain one after each set of three double crochets. And not counting this one that counts for the point. One, two, three, four, five. We have a total of five now and we need a total of nine. I'll be back up with you then. All right, so if you look, I do have a three or nine sets of three double crochet but remember we're not counting this one here that's for the point so not counting this one one two three four five six seven eight nine now we're going to do our point our next point which will be a full point this will be the front of your poncho so i chained one after this set of three and again i'm going to skip three one two three and in the next stitch i'm going to work three double crochets there's one two 
three, and then we're gonna chain two because it's our point. And now we are going to switch from the granny stitch to where we start working double crochets and post stitches. So we did three double crochets here for this point. We chain two, we're gonna go back in the same stitch, but we're only gonna work two double crochets here. Whenever you're not doing the granny stitch row, you only work two double crochets in the point, like that. And now we're gonna work across, and we're gonna work one double crochet into every single stitch all the way until we make it to the end of the row. Just like this. So as you can see, one side will be grannies and one side's gonna be post stitches, double crochet and post stitches. So I'll meet back up with you when we make it to the end of our row. All right, when you make it to the end and you come here to where we did the three double crochets for our first point, we're gonna finish out that point by working two double crochets into that same stitch, just two. And then we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the top of that first double crochet. And that's going to count as our chain two space. So yarn over and half double crochet into the top of that chain two, or on top of that double crochet. There we go. And that's going to count as our chain two space. That way we don't have any slip stitching to do. So that will end row two. So rows three, four, and five are the, are the same, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and start row three. We're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and we're gonna work inside this space here, and we're gonna do half of our first point, and we're gonna work three double crochets through this space. There's one, two, and there's three. And then we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna put three double crochets into our next chain one space. One, two, three, and we're gonna repeat that. Chain one, three double crochets into our next chain one space. One, two, three, chain one, three double crochets into our next chain one space. Now we're gonna work this until we get to the chain two space of our next point. Chain one, three doubles into our next chain space and I'll meet back up with you at the point of our poncho. All right, so I've made it down here to the chain two space, the point of my poncho here. I chained one after this, after I did my three double crochets. So I'm gonna jump into this chain two space. I'm gonna work three double crochets. There's one, two, three, and I'm gonna chain two. And now we're gonna start working on the side that we're gonna do double crochet and post stitches. So I'm only gonna put two double crochets back into the chain two space. One and two. Now we're gonna go, gonna go ahead and start off by working a front post double crochet around the first stitch here. And then we're gonna do a regular double crochet into the top of the next. And that is what we're gonna repeat all the way down. Front post double crochet into the next. And then a regular double crochet into the top of the next. Front post double crochet around the post of the next. And a regular double crochet into the top of the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern of the front post double crochet or regular double crochet repeat until I make it back to my starting point. The 
just like that. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three, and your last stitch here should have been a front post double crochet, and now I'm at my chain two spot, so we have to put two double crochets into this stitch to finish out this point. And we're going to end by putting a half double crochet in the very first double crochet, which will act as our chain two space. Just like that. So that's what it's starting to look like. Now we're going to round four and five. We're just going to repeat what we just did. It's just our piece will just get a little bit bigger. And when you, these post stitches, they'll start to flip up. That's okay. That's normal. It will take care of that eventually. So for rows four and five, just repeat what we just did on, on uh, row three. And I'll meet back up with you. It's the exact same thing. It's just going to make your start to make your poncho a little bit bigger every time you repeat. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of row five. All right, so I have completed uh, until I finished out row five. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. All right, and now we're going to start round six. So remember, I said these post stitches will curve up. That is normal. So this is what it kind of looks like. So now what we have to do is what we're going to start doing is putting the grannies on this side and the post stitches on this side. So why don't we go ahead and start that. So round six. Right here in this space, we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to go back into this same spot. Now, since we're putting the post stitches on this side, we're only going to put two double crochets to start here. Remember when you were post the post stitch and double crochet uh, row, we only put two double crochets on that side of the point. All right. And now we are going to start off by working one double crochet into every single stitch and one in each of the chain one spaces um, until we get to our chain two space. So remember to go into this very first one here that we hooked our uh, half double to. So it's just one double crochet in every stitch and one into the chain one space. So just go right through that space and double crochet. And we're going to do this all the way across until we get to our next point of poncho. All right, I've made it to my chain two space or the point of my poncho. And like I said, since this is the double crochet, uh, front post double crochet row, we only put start off by putting two double crochets into that chain two space. So there's one and two, and then we're going to chain two. And now we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, start working the granny stitch over here. So we have to work three double crochets back into that spot. So it's two doubles, chain two, three doubles on this side. Now we're going to work the granny stitch over here. So we are going to start off by chaining one. And again, we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and in the next we are going to put three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, skip three, skip, 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 and three double crochets into the next. There's one, two, three, chain one, skip three, skip, 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 three doubles into the next. 
and this is the pattern that we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row chain one skip three skip 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 and three doubles into the next just make sure you, make sure you chain one after every set of three just like that and I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end of the row. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of round six. And I chained one here after my last set of three. And I have three stitches that remain before I get to my chain two space. Skip all those three stitches. And into this chain two space, we work three double crochets because we're on the granny stitch side. And then we're going to go ahead and end by half double crocheting into our first double crochet and that will create our chain two space all right now round seven eight and nine are all going to be the same you just repeat them seven eight and nine so we'll go ahead and start round seven we're going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch we're going to go back into the spot and since we're working the double crochet front post double crochet row we only work two double crochets into this first spot there's one and there's two now we're going to start off the repeat by putting a front post double crochet into the first stitch and then a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch and that's our repeat front post double crochet into the next and regular double crochet into the next front post double crochet regular double crochet front post double and regular double on the top front post double and regular double into the top of the next just like that and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way down until we get to our next chain two space all right i've made it to the chain two space your last stitch here should have been a front post before you before you get to your chain two space now since we're working on the double crochet uh post stitch side in that chain two space we work two double crochets and then we're going to chain two now we're going to be working on the granny stitch side over here so we need to work go back in and work three double crochets into that same chain two spot like that and we're going to chain one and we're going to put three double crochets crochets into our next chain one space chain one three doubles into our next chain one space chain one three doubles into our next chain one space and this is a pattern we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row chain one three doubles into our next chain one space and when you look you can see how they've changed sides now so our grannies and posts are over here now our posts are over here and our grannies are over here and that's the way it's going to work all the way down they're just going to keep switching sides so i'm going to keep this up until i make it back around to my starting point all right i'm coming to the end of row seven you want to make sure you chain one after your last group of three and here i am in the chain two space where we began and since we're working on our granny side, I got to put three double crochets into that spot. And end by half doubling into our first double crochet. So that ends round seven. And for rounds eight and nine, you just repeat what you did on round seven. And once you re finish repeating rounds eight and nine, that would finish the repeat and then you would start over with rounds two three four five six seven eight nine again and you would just keep repeating rounds two through nine 
And as you can see, I'll come down here to the lighter side. This is what it looks like. So you'll have your granny stitch row here. And then on the opposite side will be your post stitch row. But on the next row, you'll have underneath your granny, your post stitch row. And now on the opposite side, you'll have the granny row. And it just keeps uh, going back and forth. Now it's the granny row, the post stitch row. And then the next row would be the post stitch row and the granny row. And you just keep repeating those rows until you get it to the size that you want it to be. It's very easy, but one thing I will say, when you do repeat round two, when we did round two, we only worked these um, these sets of three until we had a total of nine. Now when you repeat row two, you work the sets of three until you get to your chain two space. So it'll be more than nine. You just work them until you get to your chain two space. So that's it. Rows two through nine until you get to the length that you'd like it to be to your liking. Big, or short, long, however you like. Alright, so remember you can make your poncho as long or as short as you like. I have re what I've done is I've repeated the repeat rows of two through nine um, five times and that's starting with the beginning here. So here's one repeat, two repeat, three repeat, four repeat, Five repeat yeah there we go five times don't worry if it's like I mentioned this will flip up so once you get it as big as you want it to be <clears throat> I'm going to go around the bottom and I'm gonna make it where try to fix that flip there and put a nice edge here on it by doing some single crochets so I went ahead and ended that final repeat there you can see here's my repeat of my grannies on this side and on this side is the post stitches. So <clears throat> I ended there like we usually do with a half double crochet into the top of that stitch. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be working single crochets. So I'm gonna start with a chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. And I'm gonna work back into this chain space here and I'm going to work three single crochets. So there's one, two, and there's three all into that spot. Now I'm just gonna work across. I'm gonna put one single crochet in every single stitch until I make it to my next point or my next chain two space. So it's just one single in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you at the front point there or our next chain two space. So we're not doing any more post stitches or anything. We're just gonna be working single crochet now. All right, so I've made it down here to the front point or the other chain two space, and I'm gonna put three single crochets in that space. There's two and there's three, and then I'm gonna work my way back up the other side. Um, this is where the granny part is working one single crochet on top of every double and one single crochet in each of the chain spaces so make sure you get this first guy here he hides sometimes so one single crochet into every stitch and one into the chain space and this is what I'm going to do up this side until I make it back to my starting point. It's okay if this is flipping a bit, it's all right. We're gonna take care of it. So we'll just continue working. One single crochet in every stitch, one single crochet in each of the chain one spaces, and I'll meet back up to you, meet back up with you at our starting point. All right, so I made it back around to my starting point. Here's where we put our three single crochets in the beginning. So I'm gonna go around again with single crochet. Now these three single crochets that we put in the very beginning, I'm gonna put two single crochets in, in each of those three. 
So if you want to put a stitch marker here, um, you can. That way you know where your starting sp spot is. But I'm just going to go ahead and work. So that first single crochet, I'm just going to go into it. And I'm going to work... It's tight. All right. Two single crochets into the first one. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Two single crochets into the next one. And then two single crochets in that third one. Remember we put three there like that and now I'm going to continue down putting one single crochet into every stitch until we make it down to the point again where we put three single crochets on the last round so we're just doing the one single crochet in every stitch again and I'll meet back up with you when we make it down there to that point all right, I made it back down here to the bottom point, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put two single crochets in each of the three that we put here in the bottom point. So just find those three here that are in, that are in the point, and put two single crochets in each of those. So there's two in that one, and then two in the next one, and then two in the next one, like that. And then we will continue putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way back up to our starting point. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. One single in every stitch and I'll meet back up with you where we started. Alright, so I made it back to my starting point. I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet here. And then I will tie this off. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn. And then you can hide any tails that you have. I'm going to do that in a second. One last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the neck. Um, up here. And clean it up. So I'm going to start in the back here. So this is the back back side of my work you can see this is where I just tied off down there and you could start your yarn I'm gonna start it just somewhere up here in the back you know it doesn't have to be exactly in the, in the point or anything but just somewhere in the back here um, go ahead and pull your yarn through and I think I'm gonna work some uh, just a row I'm gonna work single crochet around the top here to clean up this edge so I'm going to chain one, I'm going to go back into that same spot, and I'm going to a single crochet like that. I'm going to try to hide this tail as I go. Now I'm going to work around, and I'm going to put one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. Now since we started with 80, we should have 80 when we make it back around. doesn't have to be exact, but... You know, just somewhere near, you know, that 80, 81, 79, you know, something like that. I don't think anybody's going to notice. But do your best to try to put one single crochet in every stitch here along the top. And I'll meet back up with you when we make it around, back around here to our starting point. Alright, so I made it back to my starting point. If you want, if you want to be done here, you can. I think I'm going to go roll, I'm going to roll around with one more. A uh, round of single crochet since I did two at the bottom. I think I'll do two here at the top So I'm just if you want to use a stitch marker again here to mark your spot that way You know where you end and where you begin. I'm just going to jump over here to the first single crochet and single crochet into it and I'm going to work my way around one more time putting one single crochet in every stitch along the top here and then when I make it back around to my starting point, I'm just going to end with a slip stitch into my first single crochet. And then I'll tie off and I'm going to hide any remaining tails that I have. 
So up here, I'm just doing two rounds of single crochet. You can do more if you want too. If you want to put like a cow neck on it or something, you can just keep doing rounds and rounds until it's as tall as you want it to be. If you want it to fold or you can just do the one round of single crochet. It's your poncho, however you like. But I'm going to finish out these two. Slip stitch at the end, clip my yarn and hide my tail and I'll meet back up with you. All right, there it is. It is finished. I think it turned out really good. I really like it. I think the yarn is very pretty. I like that navy going into that tan. It's pretty, but you know what? It'll be beautiful in any color, and I can't wait to see yours. So if you do make this, um, you can show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. There's a link to that below in the description box. Um, also, you can come follow me on Instagram. Remember, um, at the bottom, you could always put fringe as well if you wanted to do that. And if you're having any troubles with this still flipping up, mine seems to be laying okay. You could do another round of single crochet if you wanted. Um, but yeah, I think mine's working out pretty good. I think it's laying pretty flat. I like it. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day. Bye guys.